next stage. This procedure allows the safe lifting of the door one end at a time. That door looks level, which is critical. Otherwise, it's extremely hard to feed the door up through the guides. Undo the center strap. Now start to lead the door up through the special curtain guide tool into the tracks. Pulling up through those lead-ins into the plastic curve. Note the curtain feed technique. This allows one hand to hold the door at all times. We now attach the cable to the cable connect, which is mounted to the top rail as shown. We need to connect the cable on both sides. We can now remove the curtain guide tools. Now mark and cut the vertical guide to the right length by measuring off the ground to the shoulder of the plastic curve. Using the bottommost hole in the plastic curve, drill through the vertical guide. Then fix with a square neck screw and nut. Using square neck screws and nuts, fix the vertical track to the plastic curve and vertical bracket as shown. Use the same guide lug that we used for the curtain guide tools for feeding in the curtain. Using a spirit level to keep guides plumb, Fix the remaining guide lugs to the vertical guide. Make sure the guide is butted up tight against the plastic curve. Note that the bottom rail is in line with the start of the radius on the plastic curve. It needs to be in that position before you pre-tension your door. We need to pre-tension the curtain by pulling the cable down by approximately 100 millimeters. Make sure both sides are equal. Wrap around the lug and feed it through the back hole as you can see here. Once fed through, pull it in a bit tighter and make sure it doesn't come out by putting in a screw into the same hole. Manually open and close the door and adjust tension if required. We'll now install the retractable infill panel assembly. Assemble the crank arm to the rod, drill and rivet. Attach the crank arm to the retractable head infill panel via the pivot point using the clevis pin and R clip provided. Note the orientation of both the clevis pin and R clip relative to the screw in the plastic pivot. Mark off the tube at 15 millimeters for aluminium top rail. Assemble the brace cylinder, spring and plunger as shown here. We now need to fix the brace cylinder arm assembly to the rod. Use a marker to mark the hole for drilling and riveting. Ensure that everything is in line and that nothing is out of square. We use only one retractable infill guide on one side, which stops the retractable infill from wandering during operation. Fix with tech screws to the aluminium top rail as shown. In situations where the infill panel can be pushed up by more than 20 millimeters, use brackets to arrest this movement. Mount brackets 200 millimeters inboard from each end of the opening. Drill the mounting holes, then fix the brackets.
Use this bracket in a situation where there is more than 20 mm headroom clearance above the retractable infill panel. Here we see the operation of the retractable infill panel as the door opens and closes. Now fit the center lift lock and handle by the normal method. And here is a completed flexor door.